Welcome into the third Cowboys Report video of the day. This one's sponsored by True Classic. You guys can get 25% off your order by using promo code CHAT25 over at trueclassic.com slash CHAT25. All the roster moves that are made today we will break down. Perhaps the most notable was the Noah Igbignogany for Kelvin Joseph swap that went down earlier today. We won't spend much time on that because we had an entire video already given to you guys earlier today on it. And that is exactly why you guys subscribe. You're getting three videos in the course of like a four or five hour span. It's electric here at the Cowboys Report. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Free videos, oftentimes multiple times per day, right here. Let's break down the roster cuts, the surprises, the not surprises. Some of these, again, on the first video today, so we won't spend too much time. Seth Green, Ben Banigue, Alec Lindstrom. Quinton Bohanna was going to get cut. Can't carry three nose guards. Sheldrick Redwine released. Dennis Houston. Jabril Cox also cut. That one pains me dearly. Type in Cox out. Malik Davis, a prime practice squad candidate. Hopefully Jabril Cox makes it there as well. Isaac Alarcone and Sean McEwen, I think, will make it to the practice squad, but we'll have to wait and see on that front. Now, if you are excited about NFL Week 1, I sure as hell will be live for the Sunday Night Football game. Like the video right now. It's going to be a special game. It'll be a special season. Like that video if, like me, you are hyped. Other roster cuts, Dontario Drummond, Jalen Cropper uh, should make it to the practice squad. Fingers crossed on Isaiah Land and the guys you might be concerned about, that's probably one of them. Uh, premium position edge rusher, but was a UDFA. I think he makes it there. Well, don't spend too much time hand-wringing. It, it'll be okay. D'Angelo Mandel, Tyrus Sweet, no surprises there. Brock Hoffman was pushing at one point for a spot, struggling in the preseason. He's released. Earl Bostic. You know, Matt Farniak at the beginning of this offseason was he could start at left guard if you play Tyler Smith at left tackle and Tyron Smith or Terrence Steele at right tackle. That was the conversation that had been had. He gets released. A massive disappointment in the preseason. Practice squad option. Keep an eye on Dallas claiming an interior offensive lineman, namely a center. Malik Jefferson cut. He is a vested veteran. Does not have to go through waivers. Should go right to the practice squad. Will Greer, I bet he gets a shot somewhere. We'll see where. Patriots cut Bailey Zappi. That could be a fun fit for him. Uh, three receivers cut, in addition to the ones you mentioned earlier. Jose Barbone, Tyron Johnson. Simi Fehoko also released. Not a surprise there. The numbers were pretty obvious. He's been cut. Princeton Fant and Alex Taylor as well. Of the cuts, got some more moves to get to. Don't worry. What is the most surprising roster cut for you this year? If you had told me at the beginning of the camp that Matt Farnick would be cut, a player the team liked, I'd be kind of surprised, but they moved on from him. It's today's pinned comment, so if the ad comes here on YouTube, take advantage. Go vote. Darrell Johnson, Miles Brooks, Josh Butler, and Tyler Coyle rounding out the obvious notable cuts, and Butler, I think, makes sense uh, as a practice squad candidate. Three other names who were released but are expected to return. That is Trent Sieg, the long snapper. Chuma Adoga and CJ Goodwin, vested veterans, won't go through ravers, will get cut, and then potentially brought back to the team most likely. Adoga could also be a cut, brought back, put on IR, and then uh, you know eventually returns too. We'll see about him. There's no center right now. You might need to keep that spot open for an interior offensive lineman. Four players were put on injured reserve ending their seasons. Josh Ball, there had been some buzz he might make it initially through and then get placed on IR. Nope, season's over. David Durden, DeMarvion Overshone, and John Stevens Jr., those last three certainly not being surprises. That puts the Cowboys' 53-man roster at 53 for now. There will be more moves coming soon. You can assure yourself of that, and we'll break down what that 53-man roster looks like. But first, today's show is made possible by True Classic. I am rocking one of their polos, and I think they've got some awesome gear for you guys 25% off with promo code CHAT25 at trueclassic.com slash CHAT25. It's not just shirts and polos and, and just normal, you know, T-shirts, right? There's a lot more than just the uh, upper body wear, I will call it. They also have shorts 
And once you try the shorts, you'll never go back to needing other ones, both athletic style shorts and some more uh, slightly fancier ones as well. As the, as the weather gets colder, they have jeans, incredibly comfortable jeans and uh, sweats as well. Whatever you are trying to wear, you can't go wrong with True Classic. T-shirts, short shorts, button-ups, jeans, joggers, as you see there. There is something for you at True Classic. I, I got, these, I, I got the, the polo short combo for my dad and my father-in-law for, for Father's Day. They loved it. My, 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 uh, my, my father-in-law said it was the best shorts he owned, and he owned some really nice shorts, by the way. If you are ready to make it the easiest summer, upgrade uh, your clothes now or even the, the fall, at trueclassic.com slash chat25. Links in the comment section and the description. Don't forget to use promo code chat25 as well. We appreciate True Classic sponsoring today's edition of the Cowboys Report. Let's break down the 53-man roster. No surprises here at quarterback. Dak Prescott, Cooper Rush, Trey Lance are your top three in that order. At running back, Ronald Jones on the suspended list. Uh, he'll be able to come off that after two weeks. We'll see if he gets on the practice squad or just the Cowboys say bye-bye. We'll see. No reason to, to not keep him there for now. You're not paying him uh, otherwise. CeeDee Lamb, Brandon Cooks. Oh, I, I also forgot to mention Hunter Lipke made it. Yay, everyone's excited. Right? I, I'm not upset about that one at all. My bad. Got ahead of myself. Uh, CeeDee Lamb, Brandon Cooks, Michael Gallup uh, have – Obvious ones, Jalen Tolbert, Kevontae Turpin, no surprises there. Jalen Brooks also ends up making it as maybe the last player to squeeze on to that 53-man roster. Only three tight ends, Jake Ferguson, Luke Schoonmaker, and Peyton Hendershot. So do keep that in mind as your top options. Then the offensive line, and there will be some more changes here. Matt Willetsko, despite playing in the final preseason game, is going to go on injured reserve. So that would take you down to seven offensive linemen. You can bring back Chuma Adoga, and I wouldn't be shocked to try to add another uh, potential piece as well. Uh, Trent Sieg should re-sign at some point. We'll see about C.J. Goodwin. He could always be, uh, maybe you put him on the practice squad, or maybe you just let him kind of Twist in the wind for a week or figure it out there. Awesome Richards, TJ Bass. I think right now, as crazy as it sounds, that's offensive linemen six and seven. Now, I would feel much better if that was seventh and eighth because I would like to find another option along the offensive line. Predominantly someone who can play center if, God forbid, Tyler Biotish gets hurt right now. You don't have that on the active roster. I am going to hopefully see a waiver claim uh, tomorrow along that offensive line. But name a player who you guys want to add. I think I'll see plenty of offensive line names. Dalton Reisner, who says no? Sound off for me in the comment section right now. Over to the defensive line, Osa Odizua, Mozzie Smith. Uh, I will lay, I'll put both Chauncey Golston and Junior Fehoko at DT. They can play some defensive end stuff uh, for you as well. Jonathan Hankins, Neville Gallimore. Uh, the other additions from that perspective, so or, uh, retentions, I should say. So defensive line, Galmore had impressed enough in the preseason to earn a spot this year. The defensive end room, Micah Parsons, Demarcus Lawrence, Sam Williams, Dorrance Armstrong, Dante Fowler. Had been some buzz of maybe a Dorrance Armstrong trade. That has not materialized at this point. Not sure it's going to. Very light in the linebacking room. Leighton Van Der Esch, Damone Clark, and Devin Harper are all on the active roster. That is it. The Cowboys instead, as we'll get into, going super deep at safety. The cornerback room for now features seven names. Trayvon Diggs, Stephon Gilmore, Deron Bland, new addition Noah Igbignogany, Eric Scott, Jordan Lewis, who is going to you know, be out for the first couple of weeks but didn't go on the pup list, which, I mean, they're going to do it. Uh, Nishan Wright will go to injured reserve. Remember the injured reserve rules. If you want to come back later on in the season, you have to be carried through the initial roster cuts. That's what's going on there with Nishan Wright. So he and Matt Willetsko are going to go on injured reserve, and then Sieg and Adoga should come back. But hopefully there's some offensive line tweaks coming as well. But we shall see. 
Rate the Cowboys roster for me, 1 to 99. You, you know what it looks like. So sound off in the comments section. The deepest safety room I can remember at for this Cowboys team, six deep. Jaron Curse, Marquise Bell will get some box reps that because they're kind of hybrid linebackers there. Donovan Wilson, Malik Hooker, Israel Mukwamu, and Wanye Thomas for a very deep group in the back end. Now for the special teamers, Brandon Aubrey, Brian Anger. Again, Trent Sieg will return. If the Cowboys, by the way, want to get ultra creative, they could put Trent Sieg on, or Sieg, excuse me, I said it wrong, or it's Sieg, on the practice squad. He gets three free call-ups. He can hang out there, then get promoted to the full-time active roster later on in the season. Although if you carry a guy that long for the roster, you have to cut them, you end up John Ridgewaying yourself, but we'll see what moves come tomorrow for the Dallas Cowboys organization. Make sure you are subscribed.